The spirit of creativity and camaraderie at Banff is something that is truly unique and something that you try to bring to everything you do, but you know is just special. So in early music groups across the country, new music ensembles, even folk music, I still use the skills and methodologies that I learned at Banff, and it still informs my artistic voice today. My experiences with the Boston Early Music Festival remain among my most treasured memories. As my performance career grows and evolves, I'm constantly inspired by BIMF. Their historically informed opera productions and concerts are unparalleled in every way. When I prepare performance projects of any kind, I set my eyes on the BIMF standard of excellence. I look for the magic. At BIMF, no matter if you're a young artist, member of the ensemble, or orchestra, principal artist, or working backstage on the productions, you truly feel like you're a member of a family. And it's that feeling that really sets BEMF apart. The Young Artist Training Program is the best way to get an introduction to that family. And I, for one, will be forever grateful for the opportunity that it's provided me. Hello and welcome. I am Gilbert Blain, Opera Director of the Boston Early Music Festival. And today, I would like to present our Young Artist Training Program to you. As you will see, the Boston Early Music Festival takes the mission of fostering young talents to heart. Since 1997, under the leadership of directors Paul Odette, Stephen Stubbs and Kathleen Fay, the Boston Early Music Festival has produced a Baroque opera as its centerpiece at each festival, with the unique mission of discovering the lost jewels of 17th and 18th century opera. The opera production of the Boston Early Music Festival have set a standard in historically informed opera production for more than two decades, and today we are an artistic community comprised of beliefs and backgrounds from every corner of the world, and our opera production reflects its values of respect, diversity, and talent. Our Young Artist Training Program plays an important part in this richness. I joined the directorial team in 2007. The following years saw the quality of our opera productions attain new height, even as we increased the number of those stage productions, and we found ourselves in need of a new generation of opera singers, fully trained in the Baroque style. We wanted our vocal ensemble to be made of soloists, and we wished for every character on stage to meet our new standard. As a result, in 2011, I founded the Young Artist Training Program to fill that need, creating first-rate young artists by training them and making them a part of our opera production. The design of the programs offers young artists an opportunity to experience and participate in the creation of a fully staged Baroque opera production on a high professional level. Our young artists appear on stage, but also participate in special classes and workshops and receive private coaching. With this program, we are persistent in our pursuit of brilliance and uncompromising in our values of diversity, equity and inclusion. We encourage young artists to extend their skill sets, helping them to identify and solidify values which will be lifelong companions in a successful and fulfilling career. In 2015, with Melinda Sullivan, our dance director, we decided to open the program to young dancers to nurture performers in the Baroque style of dance, which, although the base of all Western dance techniques, is too often overlooked by educational institution. During our program, interactions between young singers and young dancers expand opportunities and favor long-term growth. The aim of the program is to nurture talented young singers and dancers through training and performance prospect, but also to help them to make fruitful connection in the professional early music community. Each year, the Boston Early Music Festival receives more and more applications to be in our program. 
Our program is distinctive because we offer a unique opportunity, a complete training package in a safe and stable environment. The objective of the program is to stimulate young artists to develop personal and professional working attitudes that will be of use throughout their careers. We elevate, we support and we empower our young artists to celebrate their difference in an environment of trust and respect. Every member of our Young Artist Training Programme adds to who we are, a dedicated, curious and talented blend of scholars, performers and creative people. It is my pleasure today to invite you to meet some of our most successful alumni. Their testimonial, all genuine, all distinct, will tell you more than I can about what it means to be a young artist at the Boston Early Music Festival. Hi, my name is Jason McStutes. Over the years, you've seen me in a variety of different Boston Early Music Festival staged productions and concerts. It's been my enormous privilege to have performed with the Boston Early Music Festival since 2005. And while you have seen me in a variety of different costumes, guises, and hats, today I'd like to talk to you about one of my most cherished hats with the Boston Early Music Festival, that of my role as the Associate Director of the Young Artist Training Program. Since its inception by our BEMF Opera Director Gilbert Blain in 2011, our goals for the Young Artist Training Program have centered around the idea that young artists learn best when they actually participate in productions. In that respect, we have offered our young artists the opportunity to engage with a fully staged, world-class production of a Baroque opera where they can learn side by side with some of our most amazing artists. In 2011, our young artists participated in BEMP's production of Stefani's Niobe. Hi, I'm Megan Stapleton. I participated in the Boston Early Music Festival's Young Artist Program during its inaugural season in 2011. We performed Stefani's Niobe Regina di Tebe, and I had the opportunity to cover the ingenue role of Manto and perform in the chorus. I grew so much from the experience, and I enjoyed every second. I was eager to sing with BIMF after watching their production of Asus and Galatea in 2009. The historical accuracy and the sheer beauty of the show was thrilling to take in. Sitting in the audience, I knew immediately how very special this organization is, and I wanted to be a part of the magic. My experience as a BEMF Young Artist was educational, inspiring, empowering, and incredibly joyful. As a singer, I believe I've never been happier than when I was rehearsing and performing with BEMF. I knew I was working with the best early music directors, singers, instrumentalists, and dancers in the field. And I tried to soak in as much as I could from each person around me. Surrounded by this tight-knit group of artists who embraced me as one of the tribe, I was totally immersed in the Baroque style of singing and movement. And that education was invaluable. Coming out of the Young Artist Program, I felt empowered by the lessons I had learned. I was confident and excited to market myself as a Baroque performer.
The Boston Early Music Festival gave me my start as a professional singer. My participation as a Benf Young artist led to a professional role with Benf in their Charpentier double bill, as well as performances with other Baroque ensembles such as Ars Lyrica, Bach Society Houston, and Mercury Chamber Orchestra. I also became a founding member, the executive director, and the vocalist of Houston Baroque. I've always felt deep gratitude to the Boston Early Music Festival for setting me on my path as a professional singer and inspiring the direction I would choose to take my career. The Young Artist Training Program is designed to fit hand in glove with the biennial Boston Early Music Festival and Exhibition. With each subsequent festival and each subsequent iteration of the Young Artist Training Program, we have seen the program grow both in terms of its personnel and also in terms of its curriculum. In 2013, we have the appointment of our first associate director, Ellen Hargis, a well-known and loved BEMF participant and early music singer. She's also well regarded for her research and knowledge in the ideas of rhetoric and Baroque gesture, which are a crucial part of any fully staged Baroque opera production. During this festival, not only did the young artists participate in our production of Handel's Almira, but also received a variety of different coachings, lectures, and information regarding rhetoric, gesture, and their own interpretation of Baroque music. Hello, Boston Early Music Festival 2021. I hope this finds you safe, healthy, and well. My name is Patrick Kilbride, and I am coming to you from Washington, DC. I'm a professional tenor, and I was an alumnus of the Boston Early Music Festival's Young Artist Program from 2013. And that summer, we worked on Handel's rare and beautiful gem, Almira. I first heard about the Boston Early Music Festival when I was an undergraduate at Northwestern University, and I first auditioned for the Boston Early Music Festival's program uh, after my first year of my master's degree at the Maryland Opera Studio. By the time that I had reached my graduate degree, my voice and my artistic sensibilities were gravitating towards music from the Baroque and classical periods, exploring concert work and operas uh, from those time periods. 
I was extremely interested also in learning more about authentic historical performance practices, especially through the lens and the experience of working on a fully staged professional production. Uh, and those two things, um, Boston Early Music Festival absolutely provided me. Uh, and that's what sparked my interest in auditioning for the Young Artist Program in 2013. I was so excited to receive the call that I had been offered a young artist position in 2013 with BEMF and Handel's Almira marked my first professional production and performances uh, in my career. Uh, being a part of a production of such high quality and high caliber with such wonderful artists truly was magical. As young artists, our days consisted of full company rehearsals and putting the production together, as well as one-on-one -on -one and small group individual coachings on the roles that we were covering within the production. Uh, I experienced many moments of feeling, oh my gosh, this is exactly the kind of art and the kind of performances that I wanna be making in my career. And it was so affirming and so confirming and so exciting. Uh, one of the best parts of the experience of being a young artist at BEMF was learning from and working in close proximity to the amazing luminaries that are involved with BEMF, including Stephen Stubbs, Paul Odette, Gilbert Blain, Melinda Sullivan, amongst many others, um, and also getting to cover such wonderful singers. Uh, I had the pleasure of covering Zachary Wilder in the role of Osman in Handel's Almira. And the wonderful thing about BEMF is that once you join the family, you're a part of the family. And all of the artists that I've had the pleasure of working with at BEMF uh, have become wonderful friends, continued colleagues, and family. <laughs> My time as a young artist with BEMF was absolutely instrumental in affirming and encouraging me to pursue my next professional steps in my career. I was so lucky to return uh, to perform with the Boston Early Music Festival in 2015, uh, where I sang the role of Iro in Monteverdi's Ulysses as a part of the Monteverdi trilogy, uh, and that marked my main stage professional debut in the U.S. Uh, shortly thereafter, uh, after winning the 24th International Competition of Singing in Clermont-Ferrand, France, I was engaged to make my professional debut in Europe, where I sang the role of Damon in Handel's Asis and Galatea with Le Banquet Celeste. Those experiences then led to performing uh, with Festival Ex en Provence, singing in an internationally touring production of Cavalli's Erismena with Leonardo Garcia Alarcón, uh, which toured all over Europe over the course of three years. I've also had the pleasure of performing Handel's Theodora in England with the Albera Festival, as well as Handel's Semele with the American Bach soloists. 
here in Washington, D.C. I've had the pleasure of making my professional debut at the Kennedy Center and returning a number of times as a soloist uh, in many Baroque rarities and gems with the wonderful company Opera Lafayette. Looking back, it is so cool and really special to see how I was able to apply the knowledge and professional experience and skills that I gained as a young artist with BEMF uh, and how I was able to apply those uh, throughout the trajectory of my career that stemmed from my time as a young artist uh, with BEMF. <laughs> Um dich als Königin zu grüßen. All ihre Regierungen. Richardson and I'm a soprano. I had the honor of performing in the 2013 production of Handel's Almira as part of the Boston Early Music Festival's Young Artist Program. At the time, I had recently graduated with my master's degree from Peabody and I absolutely loved early music and opera. I was really eager to learn more and gain some experience, so I was so excited to apply to this program. I almost didn't make it to my audition because there was a huge snowstorm that delayed my flight by about four hours, but thankfully I arrived in the nick of time to sing and I was really thrilled to be chosen as one of the eight singers that year. I was given the task of covering the role of Almira and I remember how intimidated I was when I got this huge binder in the mail filled with Italian arias and German russets. Once we got to Boston though, we just dived right in and our days were really filled with coachings and lectures from Ellen Hargis, Paul Odette, Stephen Stubbs, dance rehearsals and movement classes with Melinda Sullivan and the wonderful dance company and choreographers, and hours each day in staging rehearsals with Gilbert Blanc and the professional singing cast. 
I have to say those hours in rehearsal were perhaps the most valuable experience there for me. I learned so much by just being in the room and watching these high level professional singers. I got to see how they came up with ornaments, how they developed their characters, how they collaborated with each other to put together this massive opera. It was really, really inspiring and it really cemented in me my desire to continue down that journey to become a professional singer myself. When the festival opened, I also had the opportunity to attend as many of the wonderful performances as I could fit into my schedule. I felt like I spent the entire time soaking up knowledge and inspiration that I could carry with me. That summer of 2013, I feel really marked the transition for me between my time as a student of singing and early music and my beginning of my journey as a professional singer and artist. And the Boston Early Music Festival played a huge role in that transition. In the following years, I've been really fortunate to grow my career in many different areas. I've been able to take part in a wide range of operatic and concert performances. Some highlights have included getting to work with Boston Early Music Festival director Stephen Stubbs on a production of Monteverdi's Orfeo in Colorado and getting to make my Kennedy Center debut in Handel's Radomisto with Opera Lafayette. I've had a busy concert career and I've had the opportunity to sing Handel's Messiah with many big symphony orchestras and tons of wonderful early rep with many wonderful Baroque and early music ensembles around the country. In addition to performing, the Boston Early Music Festival really helped instill in me a love for the scholarship of historical performance and I got to further my interest by attending the Yale Institute of Sacred Music. There, in addition to lots of performances, I also got to write a dissertation on French Baroque soprano Marie Le Rochois. I was really happy last spring to graduate with my doctoral degree in early music from Yale. I'm so grateful that I was able to learn so much from the wonderful artists of Benf at this early stage in my career. I've really carried a lot of that knowledge with me on my own musical journey, and it's been so wonderful to get to work with many of these artists as the years have gone by. Congratulations on 10 wonderful years of the Young Artist Program. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Mark Williams. I'm coming, you, coming to you today uh, from Münster, Germany, uh, where I'm a, a tenor soloist with Theater Münster. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my experience with the Boston Early Music Festival Young Artist Program, um, which I first uh, started in it's the summer of 2013. Um, and that was, I was fresh out of conservatory. I had done my master's at the New England Conservatory um, in, in Boston. And uh, I didn't really know what I was going to do next. And, and Bimf sort of uh, landed in my lap. I, I tried out for this young artist program, not having any idea what to expect. Um, but little did I know that it would prove to be a, a really important program and an important step for me um, straight out of my, my training. Benf was, was a really a special experience um, for me. Uh, we, we did Almira in that summer of 2013. I didn't even, I had never heard of this opera. I mean, I knew Handel, of course, but uh, it was a, a little bit daunting, and it was a, a new edition of this opera, so I'd never done anything like that. Um, uh, but I knew from day one it was going to be a great thing for me, and it was just the most supportive environment to work in, and, and I was suddenly immersed with this incredible talent around me. Not First of all, the, the singers just, just to look up to were were really something else. I mean, suddenly I was around Amanda Forsyth and Colin Balzer and uh, Christian uh, Christian Imler and Tyler Duncan and Jason McStutes. And um, I mean, not to mention, of course, uh, Paulo Dett and Stephen Stubbs, who are musical forces of their own in, in the early music world. Um, and of course, Robert Mealy, the, the concertmaster of the Benf Orchestra. So it was just like, getting thrown into this incredible um, whirlwind of, of, of musical and, and theatrical brilliance, um, which was so exciting for me. 
having not really done anything, uh, I had done conservatory style productions, but never really anything fully professional and never really anything um, uh, at all on that scale and, that, and of that quality that BIMP um, offers. Um, and I, I think one thing I noticed immediately is that everyone really wanted to be there, which was, um, it's not that I hadn't experienced that per se, but it was sort of a, a different level of energy and, and eagerness uh, and enthusiasm to, to make something amazing. So that was r really exciting for me. For the 2011 festival, when we performed Stefani's Niobe, Gilbert came up with the idea that um, he, we needed to have various supernumeraries as well as one very short chorus, and that we could kill two birds with one stone by starting a training program for very gifted, young, aspiring uh, singers. And so we started this young artist training program, uh, a group of singers who would be given daily coachings on performance of Baroque music, lessons in Baroque dance, in Baroque movement, in rhetoric, and they would also have the opportunity to perform in the opera side by side with the, the great singers that we, break, that we cast in, in the main roles. And this was such a success in 2011 that we've continued it. And I, I would say it was not easy per se. I mean, I don't think any time you're taking on an opera, um, especially if you want to make it good, it's not going to be easy. It's, it's work. But what I experienced with BIMP is that it's, it's a kind of graceful work. Um, and everyone just throws everything they have into it. So that was, that was really exciting for me. As a young artist, we got to do, um, first of all, we, we took part in, in rehearsals in the chorus. We all had uh, a cover role. So we were able to be in all the rehearsals for our, our role that we were covering, which meant we had a lot of direct contact with with the principal artists and and they were so gracious with their time and and answering um all of our questions and and we got to do workshops with ellen hargis which i remember being incredibly helpful things like stagecraft and dramaturgy and and musical style and rhetoric how do you deliver this this text in in a in a different language? Which was also interesting in Almira. It was a combination of German and Italian, and so it was suddenly it's just it was just so much newness, so much novelty, um, but also just excitement all around. And we got to do fencing with with Carlos Fitante, gesture, movement, and gesture with, of course, the, the lovely Melinda Sullivan and, and, and Caroline Copeland, and just so many wonderful people who are just eager to, to share what they know about, about this world of, of music and of dance. And it was so much um, to soak in, which, which I would say it was a summer of soaking in, which was beautiful. So this led to me, um, two years later, I was invited to take on uh, a, a small role in Asis and Galatea, the role of Corridon, which was, um, I think at the time it was a pretty big deal for me to take on, still to take on a, a solo role, especially with a company, company like BIMP. And that was working much more directly with Paul Odette and Stephen Stubbs on, on things like, you know, musical style and phrasing and text delivery and, I learned so much from that experience, and of course from Gilbert Blain, who is just a fantastic director, and he really wants you to to dig deeper and and always um, let the let the idea start uh, whatever it is you want to convey, to really think through what it is you want to convey. So that was a fantastic experience, and then two years later, I got to take part in. Le Carnaval de Venise, the Carnival of Venice, which was a, a French opera spectacle. Uh, it was incredible uh, to be a part of. I, that, that one I was just in the chorus, but I jumped at the opportunity just to be in the chorus, which was 
you know, it was uh, just so, so much happening on stage and so much um, movement, dance and, and, and costumes and, um, and there was an opera within the opera. So it was just so exciting. So anyways, I've had a number of fantastic experiences with BIMP and that all stemmed from from me getting my, my first, um, I guess my foot in the door with, with uh, Young Artist Program. And so I feel like I am, uh, yeah, eternally grateful to, to BIMP for helping me to start my career, which now my career has taken me across the pond and I live in Germany. Um, I have not specialized in early music, uh, but I feel like the experience with BIMF was been, has been um, really extremely important for me in my development as an artist, and it's something I, I still use um, all the time. So much of this carries over to other other styles, and um, and I, I have done some Baroque singing as well. Um, I did Handel's Ario Dante a couple of years ago with my company in Bavaria. Uh, I was three years with the company in Bavaria, and then I recently moved to Münster, which is in Western Germany. So it's, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been quite, quite the journey. Uh, My name is David Evans. I'm currently based in Washington, D.C., where I am a staff singer at the National Cathedral. I was part of the 2013 Young Artist Training Program and performed in BEMF's main stage production of Handel's Almira. Almira was my first time in a world-class cast, which is invaluable in itself. You can't help but learn a lot when you're in close proximity to Benf artists. I shadowed Jason McStutes, received one-on-one coachings from Paul, from Steve, from Ellen Hargis on the role of Tabarco, which is a, a very physical, comedic role and was totally new for me. And I also had my first experience with Baroque dance and working with Melinda Sullivan, which I loved. And I think that focus on dance and gesture and movement actually had a big impact on my singing at the time. So muss ich nur den Bettel zeitig holen und alles fröhlich richten ein. Denn Karte, Würfel, Brett, lass mir ein junges Weib ist nun des Hofes Meister sein Bettelei. Am Hof zu heißen Galant, ist dieses die Karte zu Hand. Alombre zu spielen, was Sättchen zu machen, Alombre zu spielen, was Sättchen zu machen, ist ihm zu grand Mode und hässliche Sache. Hingegen wird bei mir am meisten gepriesen, sein Kniff, sein Kniff, sein Kniff und passt diesen. Hingegen wird bei mir am meisten gepriesen, sein Kniff, sein Kniff. Sein Glück passt nicht, sein Glück passt nicht. With Bempf, it was basically the first time for me that the musical score was only one of the component parts of the performance, along with dance, costumes, lighting, stage direction, set design, dramaturgy. All these artists from different fields coming together, seeing that firsthand really excited and inspired me. And since I have a degree in composition, 
I also appreciate the element of novelty. So much of the music Benf does is hard to find in the wild. For instance, when I was in Alcina in 2018, that music by Francesca Caccini was totally unknown to me. And despite its age, it has a freshness that was attractive to the parts of my brain that want to compose and experience new music. The 2015 festival was our Monteverdi trilogy, the festival in which we offered full productions of all three of the existing full-length Monteverdi operas. Our young artists were primarily associated with the new production of Monteverdi's Ulisse under the associate directorship of Christian Immler. Christian is a respected and experienced baritone and voice teacher. In this particular festival, we expand the singer's curriculum by including more masterclass and a focus on vocal technique and the health of their instrument. In addition, this marks the first inclusion of young dancers to the Young Artist Training Program under the watchful eye of beloved BEMF dance director, Melinda Sullivan. At BEMF, we often strive to break down these barriers between disciplines, frequently asking singers to dance and dancers often to sing. But we aim to nurture both groups as physical performers who use their bodies for expressive purposes. I remember walking into the rehearsal space at Emanuel Church for the first time. It's, if you don't know it, it's an incredible space because it doesn't just have the musicians there and all the instruments and all the shapes and sizes. It's got the costumes department, the props department, all sort of buzzing around these two or three rooms. And it's incredible creative energy that is created by that. I walked into that room just after I finished my undergrad and I was asked to take a confident step in front of all of it and perform. There was a clear line between myself, an amateur, and myself, a performer, and I crossed it somewhere in that room. The support of the directors, you know, Gilbert, Paul, Stephen, Christian was the voice coach that year, and I still have a great relationship with him. It was just tremendous. and. It's a testament to how much they all care about the young artists that they invited me back for the next festival and we're still friends to this day. In fact, I have friends from all over Banff now. Uh, even people that I only met for a few moments in that first festival, I've come to know and have had a lot of great experiences with as colleagues later on. You can look back as an alumnus of the program and see really how strong and supportive the Banff community is. The spirit of creativity and camaraderie at Banff is something that is truly unique and something that you try to bring to everything you do, but you know is just special. So in early music groups across the country, new music ensembles, even folk music, I still use the skills and methodologies that I learned at Banff, and it still informs my artistic voice today. It's truly amazing to think that the program is now 10 years old. I was only in the second edition of the group, and so that was quite a long time ago now, but I hope that 10 years is not a long time in the history of this group. I hope that 30 years from now, I'm still being asked to do videos like this for the Young Artist Program. It would be wonderful if we could fill the world with BEMF artists, and I can't wait to meet and work with the people that come out of this program from now and into the future. Oh, uh -huh.
One of the most important aspects of the Boston Early Music Festival is our sense of community. Every two years, singers, dancers, instrumentalists, and other artists gather to offer you spectacular productions of full-length Baroque operas, concerts, and other early music repertoire. The 2017 festival featured our production of Cambra's Carnival de Venise, which included our many talented young artists that year. 2017 was also momentous for me, as it was the first year that I was asked to be the associate director of the Young Artist Training Program. We expanded upon our many pedagogical elements of the program to include a series of mock auditions for our young artists. We formalized coachings with our co-directors, Stephen Stubbs and Paul Odette as well as created a mentoring and coaching relationship for our young artists with individual principal artists from our production. In terms of personnel, we were very pleased for the first time to include Jeffrey Grossman as our team of supporting professionals in the Young Artist Training Program. This was also the first year that the young artists had a concert all of their own. We called this concert Le Petit Carnival, the small carnival, in that it included excerpts of the main stage production where the young artists took on roles that they were studying in the process of the young artist training program. We try to nurture our young artists as all around performers, expanding upon their abilities not only as singers, but as actors, as puppeteers, as dancers, in a variety of different artistic endeavors. My name is Daniel Fridley, and I was a young artist with the Boston Early Music Festival for their 2017 festival, singing and dancing in the chorus of Campra's Le Carnaval de Venise. Since then, I've had the honor of joining them for their chamber opera production of La Liberazione di Ruggero dall'Isola da Cina, Alcina for short, in 2018, and look forward to future collaborations once the coronavirus pandemic is over. I came to Benf during the beginning of my deeper explorations into early music in an attempt to discover how I could blend my passion for this music with my operatic training. What I'd learned that summer made me a better performer in both styles and has led me to the Doctorate of Musical Arts in Historical Performance Practice, which I recently finished at Case Western Reserve University. The Young Artist Program with Benf is truly unique in the way that it treats young artists as artistic adults. More than simply furnishing a choral ensemble for an opera, the young artists are challenged to grow and develop in their stagecraft, musical skills, interpretive capabilities, and even dancing. Gilbert Blain, the founder and director of the Young Artist Program, takes a personal interest in all the young artists, offering supportive guidance and honest feedback about our strengths and our weaknesses as performers, and inspiring all of us to strive for the next level of artistic achievement. Hi there. My name is Thomas Albanese, and I'm a tenor currently based in the Boston area. I had the pleasure of joining the Boston Early Music Festival's Young Artist Training Program, YATP for short, during the summer of 2017, taking part in their production of André Comparas, Le Carnaval de Venise. Though I now live in New England, I'm originally from Portland, Oregon, and I've lived and gone to school in Chicago and Seattle. Out of all of these great cities, why land in Boston? If I'm being honest, Benf played a large role in that decision. When I joined the festival in 2017, I fell in love with a city, with a musical organization, and with an artistic approach. It's been my goal ever since to be a part of a community of musicians like the one I glimpsed at Benf. While I was getting my artist diploma in Seattle, I was introduced to Stephen Stubbs. He was gracious enough to hear me sing and afterward invited me to perform in some productions he was directing at the University of Washington. This is also how I met Gilbert Blain, who was directing one of these productions. My work with him and Stephen catalyzed my interest in the Young Artist Training Program. With encouragement coming from both of them, I auditioned, and much to my delight, I was invited to be a part of the 2017 cohort. 
Before I met Stephen and Gilbert, Banff was a pie-in-the-sky dream of mine. I learned about the organization through YouTube, of all places, and I immediately knew I wanted to work with this ensemble, to make music as they did, and to tell stories that, the way they told them. With the support of two directors, all of a sudden, my fuzzy dream snapped into focus. I knew that with the training I'd get with Banff, I would be leaps and bounds closer to achieving my musical goals. YATP meet my expectations? I would say unequivocally, yes. Going in, the things I wanted most were stage experience and to form a relationship with the organization, and that is exactly what I got. As a young artist, I was able to share the stage with performers I idolized, got private coaching with them, and perhaps the most exciting part of the experience, I got to understudy a lead role. Now, when Beth tells you that you're going to be an understudy, it's not lip service. On multiple occasions, we young artists were able to step into rehearsals into the roles that we had been preparing. And if those things weren't enough, we also got a showcase for our very own at the end of the festival. The young artists showcases are very well attended and performing for that enthusiastic crowd made us feel like early music stars in our own right. In addition to these things, we were also welcomed into the Banff community with open arms. Gilbert told us on our first day that we were now a part of the family, and he meant it. Everyone at Banff goes out of their way to support one another. And at the end of a long day of rehearsal, that kind of congeniality, along with the quality of the art being made, makes all the hard work feel worth it. We have a, a very large cast uh, of all sorts of wonderful people, m most of whom we've worked with before, and then a whole echelon of the young artists who I have to say have been the, the strongest generation of young artists we've ever had. So the, 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 the total vocal talents on stage are really quite massive. Benth, without a doubt, has helped me to define my current path as a musician. When looking into graduate programs, I learned that Ellen Hargis, who has worked with the festival on both sides of the director's table, had taken a visiting professorship at the Longy School of Music. That seemed rather serendipitous to me. If I were to go to Longy, 
Not only would I be in the early music capital of the U.S., but I would be able to work with a wonderful singer and stay connected with Benf. So I applied, was accepted, and come fall of 2018, I was going to school in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I was over the moon to be participating in such a vibrant musical community. Little did I know what else awaited for me just a few months later. In November of that year, Benf began rehearsing for their fall chamber opera, Francesca Caccini's Alcina. I was excited to discover that they were rehearsing at Longy, and I sat in on as many rehearsals as I could. A week before the production opened, something happened that altered the course of my career. A singer became ill and a replacement was needed. I still remember my absolute shock when Kathy Faye called asking me if I could step in. My answer was, of course, yes. In a week's time, I learned my part, including a few dances, something I'm very proud of, and made my debut with the company. Truly, this was one of the most impactful, special experiences I have ever had. Something else Gilbert said to us on our first day as young artists was that now that we were a part of the BEMP family, we would be invested in as such. My experience, along with the experiences of other YATP alums, is proof of that statement. Hello, I'm Melinda Sullivan, dance director at Boston Early Music Festival. Perhaps my favorite part of each festival is introducing young artists to the world of Baroque dance. The Young Artist Training Program for Dancers at BEMF is a unique training and performing opportunity. Over a five-week period, college-age dancers work with world-class artists producing international Baroque opera. Young artist dancers are cast in the opera centerpiece and join the professional dancers daily for company class and rehearsals. There are also classes in Baroque stagecraft, musicianship, and career advice. During festival week, young artists have access to dozens of concerts, lectures, and workshops led by international luminaries of the early music world. Perhaps the best aspect of the program, though, is the mentorship that follows. With continued training in technique and style, past young artist dancers have been invited to join the professional company. We are delighted to expand the idea of what a dance career can be, and we look forward to welcoming young artists to our next festival. Hi, my name is Julian Donahue, and I was a young artist in 2017 when Boston Early Music Festival did Le Carnaval de Venise, and then later I came back as a professional dancer um, in the show Orlando and Boston Early Music Festival is such a great experience, such an artistically full experience and the Young Artist Program was really my introduction to that. I got introduced to BEMF through my professor at the time who I had for ballet and for Baroque dance and character dance at Hofstra University. Her name was Caroline Copeland and she was the choreographer at the time for Carnival. She said that they had this wonderful program called the Young Artist Program and that I should look into applying. And it was really great. I was a young artist with a fellow Hofstra dancer, Lindsay Gray, and we had such a great time in Boston exploring the city and having this culturally rich experience, getting to go to a lot of concerts with young artist passes and getting discount tickets and such, and just being totally immersed in this other time period this other world in a way, because the other thing that was so interesting for me as a dancer was having the dance experience really be focused on the music, of course, because it's an opera and it is the Boston Early Music Festival. And at that time in the Baroque era, dance and music were so connected. Music was all about the dance forms and dancing was all about the music forms. and seeing that connection has led me to explore so much further that the connection between music and dance. Currently, I dance at New York Theatre Ballet and we do a wide range of works, not just your classical ballet works. And that connection to the music has given me such a deeper understanding of movement. And I've really been able 
to hone my skills in that sense. And I credit that back to Baroque dance at large and specifically my time with Banff, having the score and going along with the score as the amazing opera singers are singing. And even I remember when I was in Carnival, we, we as in the dancers, were able to sing the last chorus. There were enough voices to drown out our singing voices, but that was a really amazing experience to be inside the music in a different way, because when you dance, you're also inside the music, but singing brought it into my body in a new way. And that was a really amazing experience. And I just can't stress enough how exploratory and immersive the Young Artist Program is, getting to witness all these artists do such interesting and um, interesting artistic things, but also the research that goes, goes behind it. At New York Theatre Ballet, I'm also choreographing a piece this season, and that attention to detail, that interest in the, the music and the story that can be told through movement and music and um, staging, has really stuck with me and I credit that all back to the Young Artist Program. All the mentors at BEMF are so kind and so wonderful and I always felt super welcome. Uh, I really do look forward anytime they want me to come back to Boston or anything. It's a really great opportunity and a really great experience always. So thanks to the Young Artist Program, thanks to Gilbert, thanks to Melinda, of course, the dance director. I love Melinda so much. And so, yes, thank you to the Young Artist Program. This big question of how has this program possibly influenced the professional career path for me? I mean, it's it's like a oyster clam 
that opened up all these opportunities. I mean, <laughs> for a young singer to come out of, of music school and to do Baroque opera, that is that feels like something that's very alternative in America. I mean, there's only really a handful of companies that are that are doing this kind of work. It takes so much scholarly care and a lot of excavating and, and uh, based on, you know, what information we have. I think the information is out there, but sometimes it's all tucked into all these libraries in Europe and the the years of expertise that Stephen Stubbs, Paul Odette, uh, Gilbert's care and his scholarly work, you know, Melinda and her, her work and study in, in um, ancient dance forms. Um, everybody else on the team, Kathy Fay, driving the organization, uh, all that just requires such a large force to bring something. I mean, if you go to a Bemf, uh, opera, it's like you pressed a button and you're in a different, you're in a travel, time travel machine. And when I was a young artist, watching those international stars, watching the pros do their work, I was so blown away. And I was just by how personal and special it's the artistry that was present there it it definitely made me feel drawn to this art form you know it's not just a large opera house doing the same opera for the hundredth time no this is this is an opera that we're taking out f from the pile of possibly never have done or possibly only have done uh, uh, one or two or three times and trying to recreate it for this 2020 audience for this 21st century audience who I mean we might as well just we already have like flying it's like we already ha are living in a flying cars society um, what I mean is like we're taking something from hundreds of years ago and making it relevant or not even making it relevant. We're just doing it true to what it was then. And it was just so beautiful then that um, I, I've seen what is possible and I've only just started to walk towards the path of how could I possibly do more of this? How can I bring more of this to America? Um, so it's just opened up a clamshell of a bunch of questions on how can we keep this going? How can we get more people involved? Um, if we have the resources to do it right, we don't need to modernize it. I think doing something, preserving something from the past and doing it as best we can with the information we know, I think that beauty shines through. And that's something I learned um, while at Benth. We do our best to try to honor what was done before because we see something really true and genuine and beautiful. And that's really what art is, right? It's doing something that is truthful and genuine um and i think when people see that sparks uh fly and people want to come back people cheer on the costumes they recognize people uh amazing anna watkins um for her costume work people are just reminded of their past their humanity and what more what what is a more important time than now to be reminded of our past our human our human dignity our art so um i think that i just have nothing but amazing amazing praise and gratitude towards the boston early music festival young arts training program um thank you so much for allowing me to have that experience. Our 2019 festival 
offered performances of Stefani's Orlando, which included our young artist training program participants. I was deeply honored to be asked to return in my role as associate director so that we might build on the foundations laid in previous festivals to offer a deep curriculum to our young artists. Continuing with our substantial offerings of master classes, coachings, and lectures by some of the world's top experts, we expanded the performance opportunity for our young artists. Hi, my name is Alex Meath, and I participated in Ben's Young Artist Training Program during their festival in the summer of 2019, when the centerpiece opera was Orlando Generoso by Augustino Stefani. I vividly remember being approached by Melinda Sullivan, the dance director at Benf, after she saw me perform at a dance concert and asked me if I'd like to participate in the program. I was very excited to say yes, because I was interested in learning more about and training in Baroque dance, and also to have the experience to work in a large full-scale professional production. Both of my expectations in these areas were immensely surpassed by the end of the experience. In addition to working and training and learning from world-renowned Baroque dancers, choreographers. I also had the experience to attend lectures on the historical context of the opera and Baroque opera in general, and to have experience working with the singers in their own field as well. It was a transformative experience and getting to the finish line and performing at the beautiful Emerson Cutler Majestic Theater was, you, you just, you can't imagine it until you're there. And the experience was, um, was truly majestic in its own way. Um, now that I am in my last year obtaining a college dance degree, um, you know, looking back on how this program sort of changed my outlook, it really gave me the confidence and the encouragement to pursue theatrical work beyond perhaps a more traditional dance concert route and opened up to my mind to the all the different possibilities and avenues with which I could explore. It really gave me valuable new skills across the board 
which I intend to continue honing in future BEMF productions and am excited for all the opportunities it has opened my eyes and training to in the future. Thank you so much. My name is Sezom Tinge, and I was a part of the Young Artist Program in 2019, and I was a part of the centerpiece opera Stefani's Orlando. I wanted to be a part of the Young Artist Program because I wanted to expand my network in the Boston area. Prior to moving to Boston, I had danced my whole life in Seattle, and I had worked with Stephen Stubbs a couple times and Jaber, and I was really inspired by these amazing artists and I wanted to continue working with them and to expand this experience in the greater Boston area, a city that's full of culture and art. Some of the big moments for me in this program was observing the professional dancers and seeing how they immediately added their own specific character to the dance. Um, some would um, approach it in a very regal manner and some others would um, take on this very flirtatious folk-like quality. So it was really amazing to see the spectrum of artistry that was tapped into the style of Baroque dance. Something that I also found really great was all of the workshops that we had um, in the visual art, the music, the dance, um, the history. It was just this great month of just broke world. Like I felt like I was transported back in time. I was, it was pretty awesome. And I, yeah, I mean, it, I just, I wasn't expecting to receive such a well-rounded education in Baroque and it was really great to engage with all of the educators, facilitators, artists, and the other young artists. It was really nice to make some connections. I think this program has highlighted the importance of teamwork and how it really takes every individual to be thinking, communicating, um, and being flexible. The opera is incredible. You have music, you have dance, you have acting, you have the set design, you have the costume design. Like it's really just this elaborate collage of all of these art mediums coming together. And I think that is something I have particularly carried to what I'm doing now. I am now in my junior year at the Boston Conservatory and this entire year I've had a lot of fun creating dance on film. Um, and so, now I'm not, I'm not just a choreographer anymore. Now I'm a filmmaker and I have to think about what's in that frame and what's my setting like and what is the connection through editing um, and the connection with music. So I think that this program has expanded that level of artistry is just seeing how everything connects. I feel like I'm more well-rounded as an artist in general, not particularly a dancer that is dancing Baroque. You know, I think this program offers much, much more than that. This expanded performance opportunity took the form of a trimmed down but fully staged performance of Handel's Orlando, with myself serving as stage director and Jeffrey Grossman serving as music director. And not to rest on our laurels, we expanded the program further to include young instrumentalists for the first time. 
This tense and beautiful piece of music asked our young artist to stretch their acting and playing muscles as much as it required their most skillful musicianship. My name is Michael Galvin. I am a bass and I participated in the 2019 Boston Early Music Festival Young Artist Training Program, where I was involved in the production of Stefani's Orlando Generoso, as well as the Young Artist Training Program Concert of Handel's Orlando. When I began my graduate studies at the Eastman School of Music, I had only a cursory knowledge and appreciation of early music. It was there, though, that I met and began working with Paulo Det on a production of L'Incoronazione di Popea of Monteverdi, and began to learn from him the magic that this repertoire has to offer. I was then thrilled to be invited to participate in the 2019 festival, and my expectations of the program were certainly met and far exceeded upon my arrival. Young singers have a multitude of uh, training programs to choose from, and they all offer their own unique things, and many have decades-long reputations to contend with. And I think for the past 10 years, BEMF's Young Artist Training Program has remained a unique hidden gem among young singers and dancers alike that offers m truly multidisciplinary training in the most supportive of environments. What struck me the most and what has stuck with me the most since my time at the festival um, is BEMF's emphasis on collaboration. As a young singer, I was amazed at the level of communication that was taking place in the rehearsal room between the artists on stage and the musical directors and the stage directors and choreographers. Everybody was communicating to come together and make a piece of art that was cohesive, supportive, and above all else, communicative. Coming out of six years in a university setting where things are often prescribed to you, I was amazed at this level of free-flowing discourse that was taking place during the rehearsal process. The agency that I was given to feel like an active participant in the process not only boosted my confidence in the moment, but has helped me hone the skills uh, to create wonderful uh, choices for myself on my own. I've become a stronger auditioner, a more fluid mover, and a more nuanced singer because I was able to feel uh, like an active participant in the process and really engage in the vulnerability um, of that process. It's because of the leaders at the helm that I really learned how visceral and how much soul it takes to create this specific unique art form. And that's something that I'll take with me across all genres, no matter what I sing. With the advent of vaccines in the coronavirus pandemic, we look forward to the possibility of being able to share our young artists with you again during the 2023 festival. Again, I will be deeply honored to continue my participation as the associate director so that we can stretch our young performers and hone their skills, this time not simply in performance, but also as academics. We hope to include a more rigorous curriculum that will expose them to scholarly literature about performance and the history of the artists that we will be performing. Of course, the young artists will continue their featured participation in the main stage opera for 2023, Demare's Circe. This, however, will mark the most extensive and involved choral singing for our young artists since the beginning of the Young Artist Training Program. We will also continue to offer substantial performance opportunities, and our plan for the coming festival will include a scaled-down performance of Elisabeth Jacquet de la Guerre's Cephal et Procris. 
building on our continued success, we will continue to include young instrumentalists and young dancers and in our program, and Jeffrey Grossman will continue his work as music director of the program. By strengthening our successful and substantial young artist training program curriculum, we will offer the participants our matchless training and situate them within this growing and vibrant community of performer scholars that make up BEMF and the historically informed performance community as a whole. In light of everything that's happened in our world, especially in the past year and a half, it's difficult to say just what exactly uh, our future holds. Uh, and it's difficult to make plans uh, for my future at the moment. However, what I do know is that I am deeply grateful uh, for all of my artistic experiences that I've been able to have at the beginning of my career, singing beautiful music in opera houses uh, and in countries uh, that I would not be able to see uh, or visit or travel to were it not for the opportunity of being able to make music and make art. So it's my dearest hope that my future consists of more of those same experiences. Uh, I'm looking forward to auditioning for conductors, directors, agents, and management again, both here in the U.S. and overseas in Europe. And of course, every artist I know, myself included, we are so excited to get to perform for audiences in the same space at the same time again. It's going to be beautiful when we are able to get there safely, and we all know it is going to be an experience full of unbridled joy. So I cannot wait to one day, hopefully in the near future, be able to return to Boston uh, with so many other wonderful artists where we can make music for all of you and revel in the unbridled joy uh, of what making beautiful music, especially Baroque music, uh, can give to us. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you so much uh, for supporting the Boston Early Music Festival. Uh, and thank you for your interest and your investment uh, in the Young Artist Program. It is extremely worthwhile. Take care, stay healthy, and be well. I recently completed my doctorate in vocal performance with an emphasis in vocal pedagogy at the University of North Texas, and currently I'm a teaching artist in residence at McNeese State University. It's no secret that I love assigning Baroque songs and arias to my students, once again drawing from the lessons I gleaned through my experiences with the Boston Early Music Festival. I look forward to training up university students as I continue to build my own performance career to its greatest potential. When the pandemic hit and so much performing work slowed down or stopped altogether, I found myself with a lot of time to pursue the music that I found most interesting rather than what I needed to do for work as a performer. And unsurprisingly, I found myself in a BEMF mode, digging through digitized manuscripts of operas I'd never heard of, looking for shows I found exciting musically, dramatically, I've devoted a lot of time over the past year to finding shows that can work in a small or large context and putting these often difficult to read manuscripts into clean and attractive modern editions, self-teaching uh, an editorial process that, that balances academic concerns with what is practical for rehearsing and performing. In the process, I found myself uh, learning the, the penmanship and specific stylistic quirks of composers like Sarro, like Heinisch, and Antonio Bononcini, who are so rarely performed compared to, say, Bach, Handel, especially in the States. And in doing so, my knowledge of the palette of Baroque music expanded a lot this past year. Benf to me was also a wonderful example of community in music making with um, truly modest uh, and encouraging principal singers helping us little young artists along the way with anything we had to ask. Um, I know I, I speak for the other young artists um, during my time that we benefited tremendously from the, the musical coachings and 
almost daily dance and movement and gesture training, uh, which is something I didn't even really talk about, but it, it was, that was also a world that was opened up to me, um, Baroque gesture. That's so cool. Uh, and, and all the educational seminars we got to do. So, uh, although I think that maybe the, maybe the most beneficial thing that, that I took away from my experience was, was getting to directly observe and work with and talk with the, the principal artists who are, you know, alive in their element in rehearsals and on stage. So I, you know, I, I, I think the world of, of BIMF and what they're doing with young artists is fantastic and it's helped me on my way and I'm sure it will help uh, many more young artists to come. So thank you very much. The pandemic has obviously caused me to re-envision and reshape my uh, career path and goals, but I haven't let it stop me from pursuing my dreams of singing. I recently relocated to Boston in an effort to be closer to uh, in an artistic environment that uh, supports and encourages my growth. I thank BEMF and the Young Artist Training Program for showing me what that support can feel like and for inspiring me to pursue this career in early music. You know, special thanks to Gilbert and Jason for leading such an excellent program for us and for the people who really have created this festival and made it the magical thing that it is, Paul and Steve, Melinda and Kathy, everybody involved. Um, I so look forward to more future collaborations with BEMF and I am so thankful for this opportunity. Happy 10th anniversary to the BEMF Young Artist Training Program. Hello, I'm Kathy Fay, Executive Director of the Boston Early Music Festival. Thank you for watching our presentation Cultivating the Next Generation, produced by Gilbert Blanc. I am so proud of the work of our Young Artist Training Program. Motivated by world-class directors, designers, and performers devoted to mentoring young artists, this initiative not only inspires the next generation of early music performers, but fosters a lifelong appreciation for music and cultivates an awareness of the rich body of professionals, audiences, and supporters that make up our early music community. I would like to offer my heartfelt thanks to Gilbert Blanc, founder and director of the Young Artist Training Program, for his exceptional work building this program and elevating the talents of young artists during the past 10 years. Thanks also to Jason McStutes, Ellen Hargis, and Christian Immler for their work serving as associate directors of the program. And thanks to Jeffrey Grossman for serving as our repetiteur for a number of years. And of course, my deepest thanks to all of our participating young artists for their dedication and musicianship. Since 2011, the Young Artist Training Program has nurtured talented young performers offering them the invaluable experience of participating in the creation of a fully staged professional Baroque opera production. Each young vocalist learns an assigned role, shadowing the cast through all musical and stage rehearsals of that part, and receiving coaching from our internationally acclaimed directorial team before appearing in the final production. Young artists are also invited to attend the wealth of performances and other events offered during our festival week. You have just heard how transformative this opportunity can be for these gifted and hardworking young musicians. While the program initially admitted only vocalists, we have been steadily expanding this unique opportunity to include dancers and instrumentalists. In the future, we hope to include directors and theater technicians as well. The next edition of the Young Artist Training Program will take place in conjunction with our production of Henri de Marais' Circe at the 2023 June Festival, themed A Celebration of Women. We will be considering singers, dancers, and instrumentalists who will be between 18 and 29 years old as of November 20th, 2022. Candidates must have full and open availability for the five-week rehearsal and performance period in May and June of 2023. Application information for vocalists is available now at our website at bemf.org backslash yatp. The first round includes a resume and recorded sample. 
Select applicants will then be invited to a live audition that will take place on Sunday, November 20th, 2022 in Boston. Information for interested dancers and instrumentalists will be released in the summer of 2022. The Benf Board, Artistic Directorial Team, and staff are committed to upholding the principles of equitable access and promoting diversity and inclusion throughout the Boston Early Music Festival organization and the greater early music community. We encourage applications from all young artists, regardless of race, ethnicity, or gender, and we will be broadening our reach in recruiting young talent, including working with colleague organizations and schools serving underrepresented communities. We anticipate offering financial assistance to those applicants invited to audition in person and to those welcomed into the program in order to help defray travel, housing, and living expenses. No undergraduate or graduate degree is required to apply. Our auditions are open to all young performers who wish to immerse themselves in the thrill of performing Baroque opera. We are confident that this essential Banff program will foster a more diverse and inclusive community of early music artists. If you would like to support Banff's Young Artist Training Program and help us cultivate the next generation of early music performers, please visit our website at bemf.org backslash support. And if you have any questions, please email me, Kathy Fay at k-a-t-h-y at b-e-m-f dot o-r-g. Thank you for your consideration. And finally, my heartfelt thanks again to Gilbert Blain, founder and director of our Young Artist Training Program, the BEMP directorial team, and all of our young artists. And thank you for watching.